Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Thank you, family. The Lord bless you all. Thank you so much for joining us. Please do leave a comment. Let me know who is joining us. Let me know where you're joining us from. If it is your first time joining us. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. You're all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of my belly. Shall flow HD. Thank you so much for joining us, HD. It's good evening here. Oh, you're joining us from the US. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So glad to have you join us today. Oh, Elijah is joining us from the Caribbean. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. I -I -I -I. Out of my belly, Judy, you're welcome. Shall flow rivers. Rivers of living waters, I -I 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 -I. out of the session shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters, I -I 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 -I. out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living waters I -I 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 -I. out of the session shall flow rivers rivers of living Waters, I -I -I -I. La, 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 la. Just begin to worship God. Just begin to talk to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Begin to exalt His holy name. Just begin to worship God. Liza Branda Larusha Kaliakara Brahanda. Kiana Balarusha Kali Kareswanda Balaruza Brahanda Larushaka. Liza Baraswana, just begin to worship God, people. Let the believers thank God for today. We are the people that we that are ready for us to pray. Just begin to thank God for today. Just begin to thank God for everything. Liza Brunda Larusha Kaliara so Brahanda. Iana Balarasiana Balarusha Kaliara Swana Balarusha. Liza Brunda la Russia Kaliara Sobrahanda la Russiaka. Layana Balarusha Kaliara Sobrahanda la Rasiana. Iana Barushaka, Father, we thank you. Liza Barasiana Balarusha Kaliana la Sobrahanda. Liana Barusha Kaliana Rasiana Baruza. Liza Brunda la Russia Kaliana Rasiana. We are going to pray for that Elijah. Just start by worshiping God. Just begin to thank God. Just begin to thank God. Ah, don't I? That's why we worship you. 
you are a Lord. And that's why we worship you. Just begin to worship God. You are way maker. That's why we worship you. You are who you say you are. Don't I? That's why we worship you. You are who you say you are. Don't I? That's why we worship you. You are who you say you are. El Shaddai. And that's why we worship you. You are not some God. You reign. You are not some God. You reign. You are not some God. You are not some God. You are not some God. You God, you reign. You are a mighty God. You reign. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. You reign. Oh, Father, we thank you for today. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We give you all the honor. Be thou exalted in our midst, Jesus. Be thou exalted in our lives today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship. Amen. Bella, you're welcome. Monica, you're welcome. Michael, thank you for joining us, Michael. You're all welcome. Thank you, family, for joining us. Happy New Week to you all. Happy New Week to each and everyone. Please do leave a comment if you've not commented yet. Leave a comment. Let me know who is joining us. Let me officially welcome you. Hallelujah. Are we ready for more fire prayers today? Are we ready to fix some things in the spirit today? You are awesome God. Oh, Zama, thank you for joining us. Dickenis Jones, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. You are no some God. You are no some God. You reign. Roland, thank you so much for joining us. Sweet Sherry, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. You are no some God. You are no some God. You are no some God. You reign. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. Oh my God, who do we have here that looks like Nisha? Nisha, happy new year. <laughs> Nisha, happy new year. Oh, Delilah, thank you so much. Delilah, Naomi, thank you so much for joining us from the U.S. Nisha, happy new year to you. Oh, my God. It's been so long, so, so long. Kathy, you're welcome. Amen, Kathy. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Nisha, how can you drop me? You dumped me like I'm hot. The Lord is watching you. 
Nisha, you abandoned me. You dumped me like I was hot. The Lord is watching you. My God is watching you, Nisha. <laughs> but I hope this time we are back to where we started. This time is convenient for you, right? Although it's not going to be every day, but at least most of the days in the week. This is where we started. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou exalted in this session, Lord. Be thou exalted in this session. Come on, family. Give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video, like the video, like the video. Let, 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 let's increase that algorithm. Let the algorithm increase. Please like the video for me. Oh, that's so... Hey, me, that never happen again in the name of Jesus. Mercy, you're welcome. Nisha, me, go take responsibility. Me, go, I put angels in charge of your wifi. Me, God personally handle that. Plant on purpose. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Come on, family, like the video, like the video. Tiffany, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Are we ready for today? Are we ready? We started seeing a scripture towards the end of yesterday's. Oh. Sorry about that. Are we reconnected? We've been having crazy network issues lately. You are Donai. And that's why we all shave you. You are alone. That's why we worship you. Okay, thank God you are there. Thank God. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. That's, that's our scripture for today. Dickens Jones, are you, please help me, help me, help me. Be a moderator. Isaiah chapter 34, 34, 34, and verse 16. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Deaconess. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. In other words, no one shall be without a spouse. No one shall be in need of a spouse. For my mouth For my mouth it has commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. For as my mouth has commanded, my spirit has gathered. It says, go back to the books and read for yourself. It says, no one shall fail, and no one shall be without their own spouse. It says, because my mouth has commanded it, my spirit is going forth to bring it to come to pass. Hey, hey, did you hear that? He says, go back to the books. That's the book that we just opened. He said, go to the books and read. And that's what I just did. He says, none of you shall fail. None of you shall fail. He says, and none of you shall be without your own spouse. He says, because I have commanded it and my spirit is going ahead to gather it. My spirit is going ahead to ensure it happens. I have commanded it and my spirit is going ahead to ensure that that comes to pass. I have commanded it and my spirit is going ahead to ensure that that happens. He says, none of you shall fail. Your marriages will not fail. None of you shall fail. Your families will not fail. None of you shall fail. Your relationships will not fail. He says, but and none of you will be without a spouse. Do you desire marriage? 
then you are not going to be without your own spouse. Ask me how is God going to do it. It's not my business how he's going to do it. But what I know is he says it and he says as he says it, his spirit goes ahead and brings it to come to pass. Did he say it? Michael, if he showed you, then it means his spirit is working on it to bring it to come to pass. None of you are permitted to fail. Oh, I'm trying to test your spirit. I'm trying to test to see if you are even ready. It's like you are not yet ready for me. Maybe I should go and come back later. You are not ready. You are not ready. I'm, I'm still trying to test the spirit. I'm, I'm trying to look for, the, for those who are ready. I'm, try, I'm trying to see if you are ready. Oh, Zabrunda la Rusha Kaliana Rasiana. Kabayana Balara Sobrahanda. You are who we say you are. El Shaddai. And that's why we worship you. You are who we say you are. El Shaddai. That's why we worship you. You are who we say you are. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. And that's why we worship you. You are who we say you are. El Shaddai. And that's why we worship you. He says, go back to the book. To the book that the Lord has written and read for yourself. He says, none of you shall fail. None of you are permitted to fail. None of you are permitted to fail in your relationships. None of you are permitted to fail in your marriages. None of you shall fail. He says, and none of you shall be without your own spouse. None of you shall be without your own spouse. He says, because I have commanded it. My spirit is at work bringing it to come to pass. Because I have commanded it. My spirit is at work bringing it to come to pass. Because I have commanded it. My spirit is at work bringing it to come to pass. Can I pray for someone? Your marriage will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be, you will not end up alone in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will not fail. Your relationship will not fail. The, the plans of God over your life will prevail. Kayana balara rasiana. Liza brunda la rusha kaliara sobrahanda. Kayana balaru zabrahanda la rusha kaliana rasiana. Liza brunda la rusha kaliara sobrahanda. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 25. Ezekiel 12 verse 25. It says, God's message came to me. Son of man, do you hear what Israel is saying? What Israel is saying? That the alarm of the prophet raises is for a long time off. That he's, that he's preaching about the that is preaching about the far off future. Well, tell them, God the master says, nothing of what I say is on hold. Hey, did you hear? He just has told us that no one shall be, no one shall be, shall, shall fail. Now listen to me connecting these scriptures. He starts, he told us in Isaiah, he says, none of you shall fail. He says, and none of you shall be without your own spouse. And then Ezekiel 12, 25 is telling us, he says, nothing of what I say is on hold. What I say happens. So if he says you will not fail, it means you will not fail. If he says you will not be without your own spouse, it means you will not be without your own spouse. He says, nothing that I say is on hold. What I say happens. He says, decree of God the master. Decree of God the master. Oh, let me see. I think that was, that's that, this is 28. Let me read 25 says, I, God, am doing the speaking. And what I say happens. None of what I say is on hold. 
what I say I do, I will do. And soon. Did you hear that? God says what he says, he will do. And he will do it soon. What he says, he will do. And he will do it soon. God's word has in itself the ability to bring to pass what he talks about. The word of God has in itself the ability to bring to pass what he talks about. So God doesn't tell you what he is struggling to do. He doesn't tell you what he's looking for help to do. He doesn't tell you what he's trying to do. No, he tells you what he has done. Or he tells you what he can do and what we, we, he will do. And he says what he has done, what he says is, is, is not on hold. It will happen. It is happening. It's not going to delay. It might have delayed in time past. But God says this time around, what he says is happening. It is not on hold. It will not delay. It is not on hold. It will not delay. Someone, your marriage will not delay from today. Your marriage will not delay in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will not delay in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will not fail in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will not fail in the name of Jesus. Someone, you have been in the circle of relationships. From dating to starting over to meeting another person, introducing yourself, and you are at the point where you are, you are, you are just worn out. You think of how you are going to meet someone and then start telling them. And then they start asking you, tell me about yourself. And you are wondering, where do I start from? Can I pray for you? I break that cycle of delay in the name of Jesus. I break that cycle of disappointment in the name of Jesus. I break that cycle that is not of God in the name of Jesus. That cycle that is rendering void the, the words of God. What God says will not delay. It is coming to pass in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming to pass in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your marital destiny will not remain short anymore. It is opening up in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be there, Samuel. Thank you so much for joining us, Uncle Sam. So glad to have you join us. You're welcome, Christine. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Lisa Branda Larushaka. Kayana Balara Rasiana. Lisa Brunda Larusha Kayana Rasiana. Iyana Barusha Kayara Sobrahanda. God says, Whatsoever you touch shall prosper. Someone, it's not that like you don't want to get married. But every time you think about getting married, your finances are under attack. And you don't know how to go about it. I break that cycle of disappointment in the name of Jesus. I break that cycle of financial stagnation in the name of Jesus. I break that cycle of delay in the mighty name of Jesus. Laziba Rasiana. Every satanic power sitting on your marital destiny. Every satanic power sitting on your marital destiny. Be exposed and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Be exposed and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. God says none of you shall be without your own spouses and none of you shall fail. So if anything is happening contrary to the word of God, it means the devil wants to disgrace God because God says his words are yea and amen. God says his words are yea and amen. He says only he is permitted to speak and it comes to pass. So if the devil is after your marital settlement, it means something contrary to what God is saying is happening in your life. And that is not permittable. We are not going to permit that. We put an end to it in the name of Jesus. Every satanic power that is sitting on your marital destiny, Liana Barasiana, we expose and we disgrace it in the mighty name of Jesus. We expose and we disgrace it in the mighty name of Jesus. Kayana Balarasiana, Liza Brunda Larushaka, every cage of family witchcraft working against your marriage, every cage of family witchcraft. Walking against your marital settlement. Walking against your marital destiny. As I pray, I break it in the name of Jesus. As I pray, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. As I pray, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every cage of marital... of Chakaliana Rasiana. Every cage. Every cage from your house. From your mother's house. Responsible for your marital issue responsible for why you are not married yet 
As I pray, I break it in the name of Jesus. I decree it is broken in the name of Jesus. It is broken in the name of Jesus. It is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose you from every ancestral covenant. Every ancestral covenant responsible for your delayed marriage. I lose you in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral covenant responsible for your delayed marriage, I lose you in the name of Jesus. I lose you in the name of Jesus. I decree your marital destiny is loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. Your marital destiny is loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. Liana Barasiana Barushaka, Kayana Balarasiana Balarusha Kaliana Rasobra Handa. Every arrow of permanent loneliness. Hey, every arrow of permanent loneliness that has been fired against your life to ensure that you remain single. Every arrow of permanent loneliness. You realize that even when someone comes to you and you love them, they leave you. Even relationships, they can't stand in your hand. Every arrow of permanent loneliness that was fired against you. I don't care where it's coming from. I send it back to sender in the name of Jesus. I send it back to sender in the name of Jesus. I send it back to sender in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of permanent loneliness. Arrow of loneliness. Back to sender. Arrow of loneliness. Back to sender. Arrow of broken marriages and relationships. Back to sender. Arrow of disappointment in marriage. Back to sender. Arrow of marital delay. Back to sender. Every arrow that has been shot against your marriage. I send it back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power. Every power. Every power. Every evil power. That is sponsored by an evil covenant. That you enter knowingly or unknowingly. Every evil power, every power that is sponsored by an evil covenant that you might have entered out of ignorance knowingly or unknowingly, knowingly or unknowingly, whether you are responsible for it or not, that is keeping you single, that is responsible for your delayed marriage. As I pray, I am not it in the name of Jesus. As I pray, that covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. As I pray, that covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. That covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. That evil covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. Every covenant that your forefathers entered on your behalf without you even knowing it. Every covenant that was entered on your behalf without your consciousness but has been working against you. As I pray, it is broken in the name of Jesus. It is broken in the name of Jesus. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Liza bara sobranda la rushaka. Ya na 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 na. Le zuana bara rushaka ya rasiana. Liza banda la rushaka ya rasobranda. Every mark of the devil in your life. Every satanic mark in your life that chases away suitors. That makes you to be rejected by women. That chases suitors away when they come to you. As I pray, I wipe it off in the name of Jesus. I wipe it off in the name of Jesus. I wipe it off in the name of Jesus. Amaka Charles, thank you so much for joining us. You are welcome. Thank you, Mr. Tyon Jones, for joining us. Family, please welcome my husband. Thank you so much, baby, for joining us. Lisa Barasiana, I, re I erase every satanic mark. I erase every satanic mark. That has been used to mark you. So that any suitor that comes your way abandons you. Any suitor that comes your way runs halfway. Or oh, everyone that you approach, they, they reject you. That mark, that, that satanic mark responsible for rejection. Responsible, that is the reason why you have been rejected. Why you keep being rejected. I erase it in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I, I, I erase it in the mighty name of Jesus. Happy life, thank you so much for joining us. You are welcome. Every strong man manipulating your marital destiny, let them die by fire. Every strong man manipulating your, finance, your marital destiny, as I pray, they die in the name of Jesus. Every strong man that has said you will not get married, threatening your suitors to run away, as I pray, they die in the name of Jesus. I decree their obituary today in the name of Jesus. Every strong man that has been threatening and manipulating your marital destiny. As I pray, they die 
die in the name of Jesus. They die in the name of Jesus. They die in the name of Jesus. Your role, their role in your life is over. Their role in your life is over. I decree their, 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 their death today in the mighty name of Jesus. Kayana Balarasiana. Liza Brunda Larusha Kayana Larasiana. Every plan of the enemy against your life. Lisa Brunda Larasiana Barushaka. Michael, God bless you for your seed. I commit you to your seed and I decree. Your family will be blissful. Your marriage, as God has promised, your marriage will be blissful. Your marriage will not fail in the name of Jesus. I frustrate the works of the enemy against your marital destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Family, if you feel late to so, don't just do what Michael did. Don't wait for the end. When you feel your faith is stayed up and you feel late like this is for me, that's when that's the right time to do that. That's the right time to do that. Liza bara sobranda la rushaka. Iana na 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 bara siana. Liza branda la rushaka. Masha blessed and favored. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Oh, zabranda la rushaka. Every strong man manipulating your marital destiny every spirit husband manipulating your marital destiny kayana balarasiana as i pray it expires they die in the name of jesus delilah thank you god bless you for your seed i connect you to your seed and i decree your marital destiny is opened in the name of jesus your marital destiny is opened in the name of Jesus. God says his word shall come to pass now. There shall be no delay. I break every yoke of marital delay in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, responsible for your singlehood, responsible for, the, for, for your disappointment in marriage. As I pray, I command them out of your life in the name of Jesus. I command them out of your life in the name of Jesus. I command them out of your life in the name of Jesus. Liana bara sobranda la rushaka. Let the plans of the enemies, let the plan of the enemies against your marriage, may God expose and frustrate them in the name of Jesus. Someone, the reason why you are not married is someone around you. People you call your friends, people you call family. Sometimes they are the ones responsible for your singlehood. Sometimes they are the ones responsible. While you are building your relationship, they are going behind and destroying them. Isaac, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us from, from Kenya. Sometimes you are building your marriage and, and, and going by some, there is someone in the name of a friend. In my short time that I've been a pastor, I've come to realize something. The worst enemy is not the one that you know is your enemy. As a matter of fact, whoever hates you and let you know they hate you actually are good to you. But the most dangerous enemies are those that give you the hope. But yet they are, they are killing, they are stabbing you on the back. They are those that will give you the kiss. But it's a kiss of betrayal. Those that will stand by you and show you that you are sure they are sure that so you can cry on. Whereas they are the reason why you are crying. Kayana Balaraswana, whoever is around you. Whoever is in your life, responsible for your disappointments, responsible for your marital delay and disappointments. As I pray, God will expose and frustrate their plans in the name of Jesus. Bella, God bless you for your seed. I speak marital restoration, marital breakthrough and restoration over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God is visiting your marital life in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a blissful marriage in the name of Jesus. Every wicked person, every wicked friend, every wicked evil person around your life, pretending to be with you, but they are the reason why you are not married. As I pray, God will expose their plans and frustrate them in the name of Jesus. God will expose their, plan, their plans and frustrate them in the name of Jesus. Everyone plotting against you beside, behind your back. Everyone destroying your relationship behind your back. Kiyana bala raso brahanda la rasiana. Lise bala swana barushaka. Kayana bala ruza brahanda la rasiana. Whoever has been plotting against you, destroying your relationship behind your back. As I pray, God is exposing them in the name of Jesus. God is frustrating their plans in the name of Jesus. God is exposing them in the name of Jesus. God is, is frustrating their plans in the name of Jesus. Oh, Zabara Siana, beautiful melody. Thank you for joining us. Light Walker, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Liana Barasiana. 
Kayana balarusha kaliera so branda la rasiana. Oh, za branda la rushaka. You've not seen wickedness outside. Sometimes if it does not happen to you, you will not know. Hey, none of you will miss your spouse. None of you will miss your spouse in the name of Jesus. God says none of you shall be without spouse. It means there is already a kingdom spouse for you. There is already a kingdom spouse for you. But none of you will miss their, their spouse in the name of Jesus. None of you will miss your who, who are the people receiving? Who are the people? Where are the people I'm praying for? None of you will miss your spouse in the name of Jesus. None of you will miss your spouse in the name of Jesus. Kayana Balarasiana. I pray for a release of spouses in this atmosphere. I pray for a release of divine spouses in this atmosphere. I pray for a release of kingdom spouses in this atmosphere. Monica, I pray for you and for your sister. Liana Barasiana Barushaka. You will not miss your spouses in the name of Jesus. I pray for a release of spouses. In fact, I declare marital destinies in your family open in the mighty name of Jesus. Let marital celebrations be from this year, from this year, within this year, let there be marital celebrations in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Liana Barasiana. Kayana Balarasiana Barushaka. Liana Bar. Let there be a release of, of kingdom spouses. By reason of this session, let there be a release of kingdom spouses. Let there be a release of kingdom spouses. Let there be a release of kingdom spouses. God says none of you shall be without your own spouse. Let there be a release of kingdom spouses. As many as are the people with me right now. Oh, if you have not given the video a thumbs up, please do that so I count you. Oh, 31 of you that are praying with me right now. 31 of you praying with me right now. Let there be a release of kingdom spouses for all those that are not yet married. Let there be a release of kingdom spouses. 32 of you right now. 32 of you praying with me. Let there be a release of kingdom spouses. Oh, 34. Oh, Karin, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, Karin. So glad to have you join us. Liana Barasiana. Lise Barasiana. If you are here and you are not married, receive your own kingdom spouse. God says no one shall be without a spouse. No one shall be, none of you shall fail. Those that are already married, you are married, your marriages will not fail. God says none of you shall fail. Isaiah 34, 16. None of you shall fail. And none of you shall be without your own spouse. So if you are here and you are already married, your marriage shall not fail. Your marriage will be exemplary. Your marriage will be blissful. And if you are not yet married, receive your spouse in the name of Jesus. Oh, Zabarasiana. Li Zabara Sobranda la Rushaka. Kayana Balarasiana Barushaka Liana Rasiana. Zebaraswana Balarushaka. I pray for the spirit of patience. Someone, someone, the problem with you is that you rush into relationships and you rush into things without even getting to know the, to know the right person. I pray for the, for, for, for the spirit of patience to rest upon you so that you'll be able to discern the right person before you step in. So that you'll be able, your disappointment comes because you lack patience. Let the spirit of patience rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Every household wickedness behind your marital delay be terminated in the name of Jesus. Every household wickedness. Hey, I've heard just yesterday in church, just yesterday in church, a, a, a woman, a lady was being delivered and the spirit was saying, I am the uncle and I have ensured that they will not get married. This lady will never get married. And the spirit was saying, I killed the brother and I have ensured that they don't get married. None of them will get married. And I'm the uncle. I'm the father's brother. Every household wickedness Household wickedness, responsible for your marital crisis. Household wickedness, responsible for the marital issues in your family. Household wickedness. There is a saying that what kills a man does not come from far. It comes from under the bed. Household wickedness, responsible for your singlehood, for marital crisis in your family for the reason why people get married and get divorced in your family i terminate it in the name of jesus i terminate it 
in the name of Jesus. I terminate it in the name of Jesus. God bless you for your seed, Bella. God bless you for your seed. God bless you. I decree marital open doors for you in the name of Jesus. Marita, open doors to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every household wickedness responsible for your singlehood. I terminate it in the name of Jesus. Organic to essential, God bless you for your seed. I pray. I pray your prodigal comes back home in the name of Jesus. Yesterday we were praying about that. You can still go back and, and check the prayer so yesterday. But let me pray for you. We saw yesterday the Bible says the prodigal came to his senses. At some point the prodigal came to his senses. He came to himself. And that was when he made up his mind to go back home. Meaning all the time that he has been walking. He has, that he has been away from home. He was not on his senses. He was not on his right mind. Whatever has been keeping your prodigal away from home, whatever has held them out of home, I take it away in the name of Jesus. I decree your prodigal is coming to their senses in the name of Jesus. Your kingdom spouse is coming to his senses in the name of Jesus. I decree they are coming back home in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not of God that has been controlling them and keeping them away, I decree it is taken away in the name of Jesus. Their deliverance comes today in the mighty name of Jesus. Liana Barasiana, Line Walker, I pray for you and your daughter. Marita, destinies are opening in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever has held the family bound, whatsoever has said this family will not have blissful marriages. Liana Baraswana, whatsoever has said you will not know what it means to enjoy marriage. Liza Barasiana, as I pray, it catches fire in the name of Jesus. As I pray, it expires in the name of Jesus. As I pray, it expires in the mighty name of Jesus. It expires in the mighty name of Jesus. God says, none of you shall fail. And none of you shall be without your own spouse. None of you shall fail. And none of you shall be without your own spouse. None of you shall fail. And none of you shall be without your own spouse. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Zabrunda Larushaka. Please, if you sow a seed on cash up on paper or PayPal for a particular request, and I, I, I'm not able to, to see the people one on one by name. If you do that, please, and you have a particular request, just write it here. Tell me, tell me, Pastor, pray for me. I saw, I connected for this particular thing so that I pray for you. Hallelujah. Liana Barasiana. Kayana Balarasiana. Every evil word, voice. Speaking to against your marriage. Every evil voice speaking against your marriage. Every evil tongue that has been raised against your marriage. Every evil tongue that has been raised against your marriage. As I pray, I silence it in the name of Jesus. I silence it in the name of Jesus. I silence it in the name of Jesus. When I was preparing for this session, God was telling me something. God took me back to Genesis chapter 1. And God says, I, I think we started saying this yesterday. And God took me back there. Say, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then verse 2 says, the earth was without form and void. And there was, there was darkness upon the surface of the deep. And the spirit of God hovered. And I, and I was telling us yesterday... That something went wrong between from the from the earth that the Lord created from the heaven and the earth that God created. And the one that we are seeing is in verse 2 is not the same thing. Something tampered with it. God is not known to create things that are not good. And we see that all through Genesis 1, because everything that God created, he said it was good. So if there was something that was not good, no, it was not the work of God. The devil tampered with the earth that God created. But what God told me was the moment the spirit hovered. God did not come to talk about the earth and how bad, how dark the thing was, how dark the earth was, how bad the situation was. He, God was not crying and going and running helter skelter. No, no, God decided to speak and command the light to come forth. When the spirit hovered, God commanded the light. And guess what? In the midst of that darkness, there was light. In the midst of that darkness, there was light. In the midst of that difficult relationship, it's a blissful one. In the midst of that impossible marriage, that marriage that seems impossible to work out, it's a blissful marriage. In the midst of that life, that destiny that feels, that seems like it's going to die of loneliness, it's a blissful marriage. Behind that destiny, behind that disappointment, it's a blissful marriage. In the midst of that darkness was light, and God called for the light to come forth. And the Bible says, and there was light. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. 
the one thing that God opened my eyes to see today is that the presence of light did not completely eradicate the darkness. I'm talking to someone. The presence of light did not completely eradicate the darkness. There was light and God saw the light and saw that it was good. But then God still had to separate the light from the darkness. So he decided to call the, 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 the darkness night and call the light day. Liana Barasiana, plant on purpose. God bless you for your seed. I speak light to your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. I speak light to your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. That light that shines into darkness and darkness comprehends in us. Whatever has been dark about your marital destiny, I speak light to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Tyon. Just thank you. Thank you. I'm doing the best I can. The presence of light did not eradicate the darkness. It means it doesn't matter. Hey. You met someone and things are still going well. No, the devil is after looking for an opportunity. When the, when the sons of God got that, the, the devil got, got, came there, shut up. Shut up on invited and said, I've been going to and fro looking for who to devour. The presence of light does not eradicate darkness. The presence of light does not eradicate darkness. That God has given you a kingdom soul does not mean that everything is just going to be fine. No, you are the one that is supposed to give the demarcation. The Bible says God separated the light from the darkness. So you have, you have some of us, the problem is that our Christianity has not been put into practice. So we, we have the responsibility to draw the light and tell the devil, devil, come, don't come near my marriage. Devil, don't come near my children. Devil, this is your limit. Don't you dare come near me. That's not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. What God has joined together, let no one put a sunder. So you are not permitted to come near my marriage. Can I pray for someone? The light of God shines upon your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. The light of God shines upon your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. The light of God shines upon your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. And I give a demarcation. I put a limit. And I decree from today, the devil has no place near your marital destiny. From today, the devil has no place. I build an edge of protection around you, around your kingdom spouse, around your marital destiny, around your marriage, around your blissful marriage. The devil will not touch you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Zabayana Balarushaka, you are not job. Hey, God, when the devil comes asking for permission, Father, deny him permission. I am not job. I am not job. Deny him permission. The devil will have no access to your marital destiny. The devil will have no access to your marital destiny. We have been praying for marriage. This is the third day. And three talks about divinity. Today is in this divine intervention. Divine intervention. Whatsoever we miss the first day, we must we, we, we saw the second day. Whatsoever we miss the second day. Father, we give, this is divine intervention. Wherever our marriages need a touch, wherever our life need a touch, wherever our marital destinies need a touch, Liana Barasiana, Father, we give you permission. Intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Three talks about the Trinity. Three talks about the Holy Spirit, the Father and the Son. Three talks about divinity. When it's more than you, it's time for divinity to step in. We saw the other day we were talking, we were dealing with delayed marital delay. And we saw how the Bible says, Lot, why Lot tarried? The angels came and, and held him by the hand. And I said, whenever there is delay, you need divine intervention. Hey, someone, your marital destiny is receiving divine intervention. Your marital destiny is receiving divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Your marital destiny is receiving divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Your marital destiny is receiving divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Liana Baraso Branda Larasiana. Kiana Balarushaka. Kiana Barasiana Balarushaka. Today is the third day. Divinity is getting involved in your relationship life. Divinity is getting involved in your marital life. Divinity is getting involved in your marital settlement. Your marital destiny is receiving help. Kayana Balarasiana. Lord, wherever, wherever Elijah needs help in, the, in, in their marital settlement, wherever Elijah needs help, wherever plant, plant on purpose needs help, wherever Karin needs help in her marriage, wherever Monica needs help, 
Father, as I pray, visit them and help them. Visit them and help them. Wherever John needs help, Lord, as I pray, visit her and help her. Wherever Bella needs help, wherever Delilah needs help, come on, it's a good time to comment so I can personally pray for you. Wherever you need help in your marriage, God is visiting you. God is visiting you. Wherever organic to essential is needing help in their marriage, God visit them. Wherever Tyron just needs help in, the, in his marriage, Father, visit them. Visit him. Visit him. Liana Barasiana. We pray for divine intervention in marriages. We pray for divine intervention in marriages. We pray for divine intervention. Wherever Monica needs a touch in her marital destiny, visit her and visit her sister. Visit her and visit her sister. Liana Baraswana Balarushaka. Wherever Monique Jones needs a touch in her marital destiny, Lord, visit her. Do for her what she has failed to do for herself. Wherever Masha needs her help in her marital destiny, Father, visit, visit, visit. Liana Barasiana. We give you permission. Intro into marriages. We give you permission. Jesus was teaching us how to pray. He says, when you pray, pray and say, thy kingdom come. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And it has been recorded in heaven. We just read what God told us. God says it is recorded in heaven that none of you shall fail. It is recorded in heaven that none of you shall be without spouse. Why are you without spouse? Father, it is not the way it is supposed to be in heaven. Lord, let your will be imposed. Let your will be superimposed in our lives. Let your will be superimposed in Michael's life. Let your will be superimposed in Bella's life, in Monica's life, oh, Lazarusiana, in Moana's life, in Karin's life, in George's life, in John's life. Let your will be superimposed in Naomi's life. Let your will be superimposed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you permission. Oh, Zabranda Larasiana, Kayana Balara Sobranda Larushaka, Liana Barasiana Barushaka. None of you will miss your spouse. None of you will miss your kingdom spouses. None of you will miss your kingdom spouses. None of you will miss your kingdom spouses. Father, let the rain of blessings fall on, um, on marital destinies here. Oh God, let the rain of blessings fall on each and everyone's marital destiny. Let the rain of blessings fall on each and everyone's marital destiny in the name of Jesus. Kayana balara sobra handa la rushaka. Liana barasiana. Liza barasiana. The rain of God's blessing is falling on your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. The rain of God's blessing is falling on your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. The rain of God's blessing is falling on your marital destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Liana barasiana. Someone you receive, you are receiving divine beauty for marital blessings. Divine beauty for marital blessings. As a matter, I put the spotlight on you. Hey, someone, I don't just open your marital destiny. I put the spotlight on you. Divine beauty for marital settlement. Who, who, who here is saying, woman of God, I'm in my injury time. Menopause is fast approaching. I, I, I am in the point where I am in my injury time. I, I don't have time. Hey, hey, Holy Ghost, come on. Layana Barasiana. Divine beauty is resting upon someone. I put you on the spotlight for marriage. I open your marital heaven. I open your marital heaven. I open your marital heaven. Kayana Balarasiana. Kayana Balarasiana Barusha Kaliana Rasobra Handa. Kayana Balarusha Kaliana Rasobra Handa Larasiana. Let your God ordained spouse show up in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your God ordained spouse show up in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your God ordained spouse to show up. I command them to show up. Yesterday we saw that God says you can command this mountain to move and to be casted into the sea. Elizabeth, thank you for joining us. And it shall be so. If the mountain can hear and the fig tree can hear, then what more about your kingdom spouse that has the ears to hear, that has the spirit of God, I command them to come to you in the name of Jesus. Kayana Balara Sobranda Larushaka. Liana Barasiana. 
Lise barala rasiana barusha kaliana rasiana. I call for your kingdom spouse to come to you. I call for your kingdom spouse to come to you. I call for your kingdom spouse to come to you. Oh, oh I, the Holy Spirit just told me, say someone, someone there is a third party destroying your marriage, destroying your relationship. As I'm commanding the kingdom spouse to come, I am commanding the third party out of your life. I command the third party out of your life. Hey, it's a warning, it's a warning. I command them out of your life or they face the wrath of God. I command them out of your life or they face the wrath of God. I command that third party out of your life. Who wants to stand between you and your love? Who wants to stand between you and your husband or wife? I command them to leave you alone in the name of Jesus. I command them to leave your marriage alone in the name of Jesus. I command them to leave your marriage alone in the name of Jesus. Or they face the wrath of God. Oh, Zabayana Balarasiana. Liana Barasiana. Someone, God is rearranging your life. Oh, Naomi, thank you so much for joining us, ma'am. You're welcome. Someone, God is rearranging your life. <laughs> God is rearranging your life for a breakthrough and for marital settlement. Someone, God is rearranging your life for a breakthrough and for marital settlement. I give God permission to enter into your life. Every attribute that is not fit for marriage, I give God permission to uproot it. Every character that doesn't warrant that you get married, I give God permission to uproot it. Because if I tell you what's the problem with you, you are not going to accept that you have issues. But we all have issues. We all have things we are dealing with. We are not perfect. But I give God permission to intrude into your life. Every attribute that has been sending people away from your life. Some of us, it's just that we talk too much. Your mouth doesn't know any respect. Every act, anyone here, Lord, whose tongue is that is that is their problem? Father, as I pray, tame the tongue. As I pray, hold the tongue. Every character that has been responsible for someone's singlehood, that has been the reason for someone's marital delay. God, I give you permission, prove them in the name of Jesus. God is rearranging your life for your marital settlement. Whatever doesn't need to be there, God is taking it away. And whatever needs to be a part of your destiny, God is adding it. Someone, God is adding humility to your life. Because pride is the reason why you are, you are single. Pride is the reason. God is taking away the pride and God is humbling you. Pride is the reason why you are single. God is taking the pride away and God is bringing humility. God is rearranging somebody's life. Ayana balarushaka. Liza bara so branda la rushaka. Yana na 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 na. Liza branda la rushaka liara so branda. Kayana balarushaka liara siana. Liza bara swana balarushaka. Kayana bara. Someone, the problem that you have is disrespect. You just cannot help it, but you cannot. You cannot just respect people. Yes, you cannot respect your spouse the way they want. I pray for you. Ha! From today, you will look for that disrespect. You will not see it. You will look for that attitude. You will not see it. Some other person, the problem with you is that you just cannot sit in one place. You feel bored when you are with one person. And then you just bring problems and you leave that place. The ability to live leaves you. Hey! God is going to pin you with your kingdom spouse. You will not have the desire for another. Ah, la ziba raswana barushaka. Kayana balarasiana. Now, Miss me, God is visiting you in the name of Jesus. The heavens are open over your family. God is opening up the heavens over your family. God is opening up the heavens over your marriage. God is opening up the heavens over your family. Liana barasiana. When the heavens are open over you, the blessings pour down. When the blessings pour down, financially you are, you are blessed. Maritally you are blessed. Your children are blessed. Everything you touch is blessed. Your books are blessed. As I pray, God is opening the heavens over your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Liana Barasiana Barushaka. Lazi Barasobranda Larushaka. Kayana Balarasiana.
The heavens cannot be opened and the doors remain shut for your prodigal. When the heavens are open, your prodigal is coming back home. When the heavens are open, your prodigal is coming back home. When the heavens are open, marital restoration becomes the, oh, the, the possibility. Marital res, uh, uh, restoration becomes the inevitable eventuality. When the heavens are open, Kayana Balarasiana. Someone, the heavens are opening over your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. Liana Baraswana. Take over. Jehovah. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Jehovah. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Jehovah. We have come to the end of ourselves. Take over. Jehovah. I have come to the end of myself. I, I, I just heard this song in my spirit for someone. You don't know what to do again when it comes to your marriage. You have tried everything. You have prayed. You have fasted. You have done crazy things. You've acted crazy. You've done mind, mind blowing things just so, and it didn't work. This song is for you. Take over. Jehovah. We have come to the end of ourselves. Take over, Jehovah. We have come to the end of ourselves. Take over, Jehovah. We have come to the end of ourselves. Take over, Jesus. Take over, take over, Jesus. Take over. We cannot do this on our own unless you take over. We cannot make it by ourselves unless you take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. We can't get married the way we want. Holy Ghost, take over. We cannot fix things the way we want. Holy Ghost, take over. I am tired of myself. That's what someone is saying. Please take over. I am tired of myself. Holy Ghost, take over. Take over, Jesus, take over, take over, Mary Jesus, Jesus, take over, I am tired of loneliness, Lord, please take over, that's the cry of someone, I am tired of loneliness, Lord, please take over, I am getting older by the day. Holy Ghost, take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. I cannot see you the way you want. Lord, please take over. I cannot marry the way you want. Holy Ghost, take over. We are tired of trying hard. Lord, please take over. Someone is saying, relationship used to be blissful and happy. I didn't know how it became so difficult. Father, I didn't know how it became so difficult. How did it lead from us being happy to become to the place where we only feel pain and sadness? Lord, I am tired of where I am. Lord, please take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. We cannot heal these wounds by ourselves unless you take over. Your spouse heard you so bad. You cannot get the healing that you want. Holy Ghost, take over. Take over. Jesus, take over. 
We cannot take ourselves out of this mess. Lord, please take over. We cannot see our spouse you want. Please take over. It doesn't matter how impossible your situation seems. It doesn't matter how difficult your situation seems. But there is one thing that I'm certain about. I may not know so many things. I may not know the nights that you have cried all night. I don't know the nights you have been miserable. You have asked God for another chance. You have, you have felt like giving up. I may not know all the details of what you have been through. But there is something that I'm confident about. That when he holds your hand, everything becomes possible. When he holds your hand, Impossibilities become possible when he holds your hand. Everything becomes possible when God holds your hand. Impossible becomes possible. I don't know how long you've been trusting God for your prodigal to come back home. I don't know how long you've been praying and believing God, looking out the door every time you get a knock and hoping it is him and hoping she's the one coming. I don't know how long you have been waiting and just be trusting God that they are going to walk right through that door and they are going to tell you I made a mistake. Let's start over. I don't know how long it has tarried. The one thing I know is that the faithful God is able to bring back to bring to the expected end what he started. Because my God is not just the Alpha, he is the Omega. My God is not just the beginning, he is the end. He is able to bring to pass what he talks about. He says he is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. He says how? Have I said I will do something and I'm not able to do it? He says he's the God of all possibilities. Your situation might seem like it's impossible. But he says it is impossible to you. But what is impossible with God is possible. With man is possible with God. He says his possibility begins where your impossibility starts. Oh, Yana Balarasiana. I don't know how long you have cried. I don't know how deep you were hurt. I don't know where you are right now, how messed up your relationship life is. Or your marriage, and I don't know how messed up your marriage is. But I know there is a God. I call him the potter. We are just like the clay in his hands. And the Bible tells me he has the ability to take that broken pot that has been broken and shattered into pieces and mold it back and, be, and make a new pot that is all beautiful, that has never been used. God can mold anything out of your marital destiny. God can make anything out of your life. Do not give up on him yet. Oh, Zabayana Balarasiana. Liana Baraso Branda La Russia Kaliana La Rasiana. Do it again, Spirit of God. Do it again. Do it again, Spirit of God. Do it again. We have come with great expectations. And our hearts are lifted to you. Do it again, Spirit of God, do it again. We have come expecting our marriages, do it again. We have come expecting our spouses, Lord, do it again. We have come expecting restoration, do it again. We have come expecting healing. Do it again. Do it again, Spirit of God. Please do it again. Do it again, Spirit of God. Please do it again. We are here with great expectations. And our hands are lifted to you. Do it again, Spirit of God, do it again. We have seen you do it for others, 
do it again. We have seen you bring back prodigals. Please do it for us, Jesus. We have come with great expectations and our hearts are lifted to you. Do it again, Spirit of God. Do it again. Do it again, Spirit of God. Do it again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Did we receive the word and the prayers with gladness? If you did, then th this is the time to thank God. <clears throat> this is our offering time. Thank God with your substance. Tell God, thank you. If you feel led to sue a seat to connect to the prayers, you have an offering. You have your thanksgiving. You have a seat of faith. You have a partnership, connection, donation, whatever you are led to. This is the right time my cash up and paper are pinned on the tool by mon mobile money. There is cash up, there is paper, there is super chat, super sticker, super tanks, whatever it is. Just begin to thank God. Mountains are still being moved. And strongholds are still being lost. Come on, I'm singing as you give. Come on, come on, people. See, the woman of God is sweating. I'm doing my own part. Do your own part. Don't come to the presence of God empty-handed. God, we believe. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. Amen, Naomi. Amen, ma'am. And bodies are still being raised. No, not bodies. Marriages. Marriages are still being raised. And giants are still being slain. Oh God, we believe it. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you, Jesus. Come and do what you do. We set our hearts on you. Lord, please do what only you can do. We give our marriages to you, Jesus. Please do what only you can do. We need more. And marriages have been erased. And giants are still being slain. Oh God, we believe it. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We set our hearts on you, Jesus. Please do what only you can do. We set our hearts on you. Come and do what only you can do. We need more. One more minute for you to give your offering. Open up, so a seat to get to open up your marital destiny. So a seat to open up your marital destiny. We are here for you. Come and do what only you can do. We are here for you. Lord, please do what only you can do. We lay our marriages at your feet, Jesus. Please do what only you can do. We set our heart as pulses on you, Jesus. Please do what only you can do. We are here for you. Come and do what only you can do. We need more. 
We need a move in our marital lives, God. We need a touch in our marital destiny. We need a move in our lives. No more delay. No more delay. No more disappointments in the name of Jesus. I connect each and everyone connecting by cash out, by PayPal, by mobile money, by super chat, super sticker, super thanks. I connect you to your seat and I decree. The heavens are open over your marital destiny. Your marital destiny is declared open in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree connecting you to your seat. Your marriage will not fail in the name of Jesus. None of you shall have a failed marriage in the name of Jesus. And none of you shall be without a spouse in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak restoration. I speak redeeming of the times. Someone, God is not just going to give you marriage. God is going to redeem the lost time. You are saying, you are connecting to your, with your seed. And you are saying, God has been too long. I have been waiting for my prodigal to come back for so long. And now I'm getting old. I've been waiting for my kingdom spouse for so long. And now I'm getting old. When do I give birth to my children? Oh, my biological clock is kicking. It's ticking. I connect you to your seed and I pray. I connect you to your seat and I pray. I connect you to your seat and I pray. God is not just restoring. God is redeeming the times in the name of Jesus. Hey, someone, you will get married and you will have twins that same year. You will get married and you will have triplets that same year. God is redeeming your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. God is redeeming the times in the mighty name of Jesus. Mary, thank you so much for joining us. You are welcome. You came during the injury time, but you can always replay. I connect you to your seat and I decree God is granting your heart's desire in the name of Jesus. Today is our third day praying for marital destiny, for marital settlement. I pray for you. Divine intervention in your marital destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Divine intervention in your marital settlement in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, family, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for being a part of this session. And if this was your first time joining us, God, God bless you amazingly. Thank you so much. We have been praying and trusting God for you to join us. We have been hoping that you join us. And we are glad you finally did. God bless you. Please do subscribe. If you have not subscribed, this is Purpose and Marita Bliss with me, Pastor Honoring. Thank you so much for being a part of this session. And if you are already a part of my family, a, a part of this community, God bless you. You are the reason why I sit here every day. If you are a partner to this ministry, God bless you amazingly. May God grant your heart's desires. May God answer all your secret prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Now may you are coming back with a testimony in the name of Jesus. You are coming back with a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Each and every one that is trusting God here, God is giving you a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, sweet dear, thank you so much for joining us today. We're glad to have you join us. God bless you. Family, I love you all so much. Whether you are joining us for the first time, you have been there for long, it's your second time, third time, fourth time. By reason of your presence in this place, by reason of your participation in this channel, I love you so much. I keep praying for you. I keep joining my faith with you. God bless you amazingly in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not live without pouring out the blessings upon you. That's the culture of heaven. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you. And may he be gracious to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Monica. Thank you so much. God bless you all, family. Have a wonderful, wonderful, happy new week to each and every one of us. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are coming live a bit earlier. Radiant Sun, thank you for joining us. Tomorrow we are coming live a bit earlier because I have prayers in church. I have a prayer session in church tomorrow evening. This is evening to us. So tomorrow evening and on Wednesday evening, Tomorrow, I have a prayer session in church. Wednesday evening, I have service. I have Bible studies in church. So we are going to come live much earlier tomorrow and on Wednesday. But on Thursday, right through to Monday, we are coming live at the same hour. So please just make sure your notification is up and make sure you check out the time so that you can set the reminder when our live session has been scheduled so you don't miss out. And guess what? I have good news for someone. 
The secret to marriage is favor. There is the oil of favor that will be released here. The oil for marital favor will be released here. Every time we saw divine marriages in the Bible, it was as a result of the, of, of the, of, of the lady finding favor with the spouse. It was as a result of the person finding favor with God. When God gives you favor, he gives you a good kingdom spouse. When you find favor with God, you have a blissful marriage. Tomorrow is the final day for praying for marriage. Come prepared. If I were you, I'll come ready to connect, ready to receive the oil of favor. I, I, you don't want to miss out on that session. You don't want to miss out on that session. You don't want to miss out on that session. Oh, yes, Michael, you deserve your love. Come ready for marital favor tomorrow. Hallelujah. See you tomorrow, family. Come prepared, come prepared, come pre and come with your offerings. Come with your seats to Connie. Let me tell you in advance. <laughs> and it's the final day, so we are we are we are not just praying for. Oh yes, 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 yes. Naomi, Ruth found favor with Boaz. Esther found favor with the king. Mary found favor before God. There is no marriage without marital favor. You are wasting your time. Favor is what will give you a good spouse. And what will sustain your marriage. We are going to we are going to discover that tomorrow. So if I were you, I'll come prepared, very prepared. Don't miss tomorrow. Better the end of a thing than the beginning. That's what even God says. Because the best is always left for the last. Better the end of a thing than the beginning. So tomorrow you better come prepared and better come ready to connect. On the last day, that's the last day we are having our Thanksgiving too tomorrow. Thanksgiving for marital open doors tomorrow. We receive the favor and then we thank God for it. God bless you, family. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.